if you have the 3415 operating log loading bulldozer and you're tired of forcing the bulldozer to retract by hand, Mike Turby put out a 3D printed upgrade last year and I'm going to show you how to install that. All right, so here we have the 3415 operating um, bulldozer log loader. And in case you're curious what pieces you should have, you should have the bulldozer with the little little guy on it and uh, these uh, three logs and a stop sign. And those are your pieces that you should have. We see on the back side you have three screws holding the base plate in, which is nice because a lot of the switch tracks were not like that. Alright, you're going to have to gently remove the uh, bulldozer uh, from the uh, piece below. And I've already done it in this case. But um, it's just this little piece here. It's what holds the bulldozer in place. Once you have removed those three screws, you'll want to set this back down on a flat surface and then you can just lift the, uh, this off. Sorry, I couldn't film and do that at the same time, but you'll see. And then there are uh, four guides and those have to kind of be pulled out of there also. So this is what we have um, on the inside. You can actually download the 3D parts from our website. Uh, we have links at tycous1trucking.com or you can purchase these online as well and have them printed and shipped to you. That's what I did in this case. As you can see, these came from uh, Shapeways and uh, it has everything you need to upgrade the tractor. As you can see, the pieces are all attached to one piece. This happens with 3D printing. It's not like purchasing a manufactured part. You just have to break the pieces off. You can see there's four pegs. You're only going to use two of those. And then the, the top piece and the disc. The disc separates uh, from the retractor. Um, Once you have um, everything disassembled, you're going to take these pegs and trim them with a hobby knife. You don't want any of these edges on those. And uh, you can see they're, they have like a half circle shape on them. And that's designed to fit down into that slot. Now you got to make sure that it goes in all the way flush. I just took it and pressed it into this chair and made sure it was pushed all the way through. And then do the same for this one. Trim off the pieces also. You don't want to. All right. If you notice, there's a, at the top here, a notch. And then it, there's a notch on the edge here. So that just goes right over that, that notch. And then this particular pin has to be flush when you put it on or it's going to catch. That's in Mike's instructions. So you have to make sure that this is flush. So if it's sticking up too high, it's going to catch and not, and not come back. Now once you have all this in place, you should have the tractor off already. To this piece is, just goes in and then you twist it. That's what keeps it in place like that. That's actually, once that's through, that's what the rear axle snaps onto for the, uh, for the tractor. Now this part's a little tricky because you have to manage to get this top back on and you align these outer pins. Uh, there's, you see those four plastic pins. You have to align those and get the tractor up the piece, up the yellow piece up through there a little bit. There's no way for me to describe how to do that. That's just going to take a little trial and error uh, and 
then, you know, this is could come loose. There's all sorts of things that happen. You just have to try it a few times until you get it, get it correct. Let's try it out, see what happens. Well, that's not retracting. Oh, there it goes. Checking nothing out quite right. I'm going to go again. Oh, so after a few tries there, it seems to be fine. Interesting. So now that you've confirmed it's working, you can go ahead and put the tractor on. Um, okay, the last step is just to snap that metal axle onto this. And you will have to, from the underside, hold on this backside with your finger while you do that. That is much better than having to force the tractor back by hand. One last thing you might notice, this dump truck runs really fast. Check out the other videos I have on TacoUS1Trucking.com for cleaning your motor and trucks and your track to get them running back to uh, original state. Also, um, there's other power supplies you can purchase to give your trucks a little extra. Mm.